everyone, Incente here, and I have a really exciting video uh, planned for you guys today. Uh, this video was recorded uh, with one of my patrons, with their consent of course. Uh, his name was Seb, and we did a special segment where Seb played a game and I sort of talked through the game with him as he was playing it. Now we made sure that this was a free game and not a ranked game, because if it was ranked it would be cheating and we don't want to hurt anybody's rank on the server. Uh, during the sandbagging event, but we were able to get a free game with a player and we were able to talk through the moves as he was playing them. We learned a ton about the game. It was really helpful for him to learn and he's about a double digit Q strength level. So if you're a beginner or if you're sort of in that, that DDK range, I think you'll benefit a lot from this lecture. Um, and let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos like this uh, in the future. That being said, if you are looking for more instruction, one-on-one -on -one instruction, group instruction, if you're trying to find a community, I want to sort of give a plug for the Discord server I am trying to build. Um, this Discord server is for my patrons, and if you log into the certain patron tier that you will see on your screen, uh, you'll be able to get into the Discord server. There's a bunch of people there that really love the game, are super passionate about the game, and we're trying to grow it into something that can help as many people as possible. So for a very, very small price, you get one-on-one -on -one instruction with me and a community of Go players that love the game just as much as you do. I hope you consider that. The link is in the description below if you are interested. But if not, I hope you enjoy the content, and I will see you on the grid to the other side of the room to get my i'm i'm playing on an ipad these days and it's really nice because really yeah i got this like uh pencil the apple pencil thing oh like a yeah it's like a stylus yeah yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. you can just point at the move and you can really precise uh let's just open up that's great that's really good okay uh, have you found the game? They just played Tengen. All right, Tengen, here we go. <laughs> yeah. So they want an influential game, mm -hmm. which isn't the end of the world. They're probably going to, if they're playing consistent with their board strategy, they're probably going to pincer your stones if you try to approach. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. The question is, do I approach on the inside or of the outside? Mm -hmm. And the rest of the board is... It's pretty much. I tend to try to approach on the inside or the outsides. Yeah. Um, Outside. Yeah, because that way you get to build in the direction like you. You're also expanding yeah. from your stone as well as. Yeah, as that's right. If they just give me the thing and I get. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Like uh, Dwyerin. Dwyerin, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. He always says it's like that. That uh, treat the the thing and like it isn't has not been played. Mm -hmm. uh, this is interesting. So they're not pincering, which is good. Um, yeah. I guess just Q eighteen is is my instinct. Like just do the normal thing and then. But it may be too passive when he got the, or if they, I don't know, crazy bits. Um, yeah. They could be, they're, they're, they're backing off very high, which means I'm anticipating if you do this. Okay, okay. they have that. Um, yeah, th there could be a pincer there, yeah. So I was going to suggest for the future, if you want okay. to maybe even um, play a more active, like sort of disruptive game, at some point, like you can, you can play maybe up at 015, like one space jump ahead. Oh, 015. 15. Oh, just jump into the air, like, yeah. Yeah, so that way they can't, they can't hammer you. They can't mm. play at like M16 or M16 and press you down, which is an idea. I think, I think I'll take a high back off here yeah. to go with the stones on the other side. Mm hmm. But I I still don't like the two space thing. I don't know. I, the two space thing is it's it's very influential and it's 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 gonna give up a lot because there's a lot of Aji there. Um, mm -hmm. Now what you can like, do right is now. you you don't have to respond right now. You could Tanuki. Just, 
yeah. and see what you want to keep or respond right now, take your points, keep your points and let black finish off that area. I think either way you have Sentech. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that because is they option. will probably do the thing. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go with this one and then um, let's hope they actually do the I think, yeah. Oh, hi. Okay. Um, so because they have this really high stone here, um, mm -hmm. I think C12, you can just straight up invade and make points. But the exchange from there is they get a very big black wall um, facing the center stone. Alternatively, yeah. you could expand from your bottom left stone at like C9, force them to be over concentrated. Yeah. And then jump up and sort of sort of build a moyo on your own bottom left okay, hand like, side of the board. I mean that's the, the one that was at least somewhere in that area. Uh, yeah. I might have also but it would be too passive just enclosed into that direction, but that's too mm. passive, I guess. Yeah. Well they're, mm. they're giving you a free move here actually, I think. Um they they're getting free move? No, they're giving you one because like you can push now or you can play at b9 um and they'll have to extend up or you can play at c10 force yeah, them but to cover extend up i don't like the honey there right right then you have the opportunity to follow up with like e9 and now you're building your own moyo a little bit and kind of fighting yeah. black's moyo On the other hand, the, the honey here. No, you don't want them to honey here. You definitely want to play another move. But now you get to like expand. Oh, I can do this one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now you get to expand while sort of reducing Black's potential. That seems a little slow, so that's good. Now you're, none of your groups are really being threatened right now. So you can go on the offensive. Um, or you can play at F3 and play a very calm sort of defense of your base and your points. Yeah, that was, that was the other thing I was thinking about. I think, uh, do I want to give them that? No, I think I'll go, like, uh, I want to approach, uh, but then at the inside, so R6, maybe. Right, doesn't that balance a bit more? It does, I would actually approach it like, um, I would like split at like R, R9, whichever direction they cover, we have a very strong extension because they played that high move at Q13. Oh, yeah. um, R11 is a weak point and then R6 is an approach point. So you play right in the middle of R11 and R6, which would be like yeah. like R9, yeah. then you can it get... Keeps, it keeps the, both the, the things open and still like, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, they choose that one. So now you can play R6. And they'll probably back off. And then I think you, in theory, you'd get Sente out of the deal now too, and a settled group. Um, yeah, because if the E, yeah. Or, I keep saying E, but I'm never trying to, to get- It's a hard ready. habit. We just assume that all the Go players are guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, which is a hard thing to break, but they is a great word. I love the word they. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm trying to use it, um, yeah. and uh, but the, the whole thing with English is that I'm I'm much more comfortable with writing it than, than actually mm. pronouncing all the words because it's just not some, something I do very often. So I here's mean, an interesting. Feels like way too far, right? Right. I'm thinking a good exchange for us might now be S4. S4. Because. Four. Ah, okay. Because it'll defend our group, right? Right now, where we just have a two space, but that's a little yeah. easy to attack. Um, sort of sliding into that corner just gives us zero weak groups on the board that we have to worry about, which will really ah. help. And now yeah. we can go now on the offensive. Think... So now uh, I, I would think K3 as a point where we can just split. Split. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just... It feels too far. Go for it. We can attach, we can make shape. Like, as long as we have no weak groups, like, we're good. We don't have to worry about getting split and dying, which will mm -hmm. be nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
to expand, we have... Ooh, interesting poke. Okay. Although, if we play this right, they'll just make two weak groups, just like us, and they'll be a fight, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but for now, just connect, I guess. That's yeah. That's simple. That's kind of forced. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, no fancy, fancy things with, like, trying to... You know, there is not just... I guess the only fancy thing you could do is the ten d ten, but that's yeah. No, that doesn't work either. No, no, no. This is the only move. Yeah. Worst case, we could connect under, or I do a splitting attack. After this fight is over, some good, some really good like expansion. Oh, they're just attaching everywhere, aren't they? Oh. Aren't they? So need some reading. Yeah. Think, go over it, right? I mean, kind of inviting. Out here. Hmm. Kind of inviting them to go under, but I think. Huh. If we go over and then they hane a d six and then we cut. Mm -hmm. then something is probably going to die. If we yeah. play at c4 and they go over and they play at d5 and then we hone at the head of two stones, we can kind of corral them in. I think the push, actually, I think d5 is probably better. That'll help us get soli okay. solidi like solidify points in like one of our areas right now because they can't defend everything. No, they yeah, yeah. This, this was what I was thinking, so that's why I'm going to yeah. for it. Um, yeah, they're kind of like saying one at one after corner. But okay. I think I just Hane, right? Yeah, I'd Hane at C6. Yeah. Oh, I was going to Hane the other way. <laughs> oh, the other way. Yeah, just connect up and be like, look, if you want the corner, take it. I'm just going to get a really awesome wall with which to attack H3. And that would be what uh, I do. Uh, yes, yes, That'd yes. be my plan. But we might, well, hmm. we actually have some good shapes, so we could still get that wall. If we extend down to C2, they can't really Hane at D6, because then we cut them, and then things are hard yeah. for them if we do if they do that. Okay, now we, now we can Hane at C6. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the ladder works for us, so everything is a point. Oh, We'd actually That's double Hane now. Double honey. Yeah. Du, du, du. Perfect. Okay, connect. Then we'll get our corner back. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the weird part where you say, oh, we just get the corner back. Or, or not. No, you don't get the corner back. And be like, okay, just we'll save our stone at B7 and uh, pretty much uh, kill off, or we can squeeze it. Um, so like C8 would be the Atari and would keep Black from ever escaping. Black could not escape if we do C8. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little kind of a weird clumpy shape, but now we have a huge wall and it's going to be really hard for Black to make good stones there and that was a pass. So, great. Um, I think a jump at K5, right? I would be a little more aggressive. I'd jump... I would jump at J5. J5. One over. Ah, so the... Uh, the, the uh, Knight's hey, move. Uh, nice move. Yeah. We're not scared. We have a wall now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, this is more aggressive because if I jump up, then the, the, the other stone would still get out. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's now my turn in the game of Lords of Waterdeep. That wasn't Waterdeep for now. Uh -huh. Okay, so they want to... Go under, I guess? Just connect under. Um, I'm trying to find a more active way, <laughs> you know? I'm thinking of even, like, attaching at M3. They play N3, and then we, get to, we threaten an Atari at L2. Like, we make a Tiger's Mount. And like try to like do that uh, in sight yeah. type. I like that shape, yeah. It also stops them from really being able to attach under. Yeah, they make the tiger's mouth. 
and then they'll probably cover and we get a free move to do something else, which is exciting. Yes, Yeah, great. because now we just treat the, the H tree as like yeah. dead, right? Yeah, exactly. So we don't need to worry about that, I think. Um, but we'll be able to get enough shape. If you're really worried about your shape, we could like play. Mm. Okay, so if they play a J4, right? And then we go up and then they cut us. We have so many liberties. Um, oh, you got to kill me already. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, do what you got to do. Defend your shape if you feel like it. Make it extra strong. Oh, oh I missed one. No. Oh, no. That's okay. Um, That's fine. That's fine. We're all good. It's fine. It's fine. We're all good. Some good expansion moves are G14. Yeah, I was thinking like the G oh, G14. What? The knight's move, just to expand your territory. But, um, oh, uh, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I was thinking about, uh, O15, but the, this one is better because this group is more pressured. Hmm. All right, so now we can sort of fill in the space that they're trying to surround by jumping up at, like, O15 or playing at P15 and, like, building up an area there because if you think about it they're trying to surround this this kind of quadrant right from tangan to like the k15 yeah. line yeah so but if we just sure it's, it's not thing right flowing yeah. from the other side uh things are great do you, you think that my group at like s4 and stuff are is fine still i would i can extend it s3 just for maximum safety right now um yeah nothing's really in danger so I, yeah sure that'll give us just some extra extra room to work with mm -hmm. and it's they yeah we're fine that way okay so they they really want to try to surround the center but honestly i don't think that's quite enough yeah, i don't have to respond to you right not really um we could continue to expand on the top or we could play some sentai endgame moves like we have a lot of things that we want to do right now um, no. whatever you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, I keep losing these. Wait, yeah, I'm going to You're good. turn on the volume okay. a bit. Oh, yeah, make sure. Make sure I hear yeah. these, like, tick, tick, tick things. This is not the best move I just played. I think it mm, depends. I mean... It's not really sensitive. Yeah. That's, that's the problem with it, right? Black can kind of invade pretty easily. And you're gonna... might get into a fight. But I think, all in all, it's okay. Um, yeah. You have good endgame, though. That's what I like about this board, is you have really good endgame. Like, B17 is really big. Uh, mm -hmm. No, don't, don't, don't take the stone. Just play at B8. Yeah, because it's... No. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. This is wrong. Yeah, that was wrong. Um, Play at D7. We don't want to start a co right now. Like, you really don't want to start a co right now. Yeah. You should have... You, yes. you need to fill in. Um, not let them take. Yeah, that was big for them. That was pretty big. Um, that's fine. Yes. We can... Um, now you're probably going to want to defend your shape at the bottom. Yeah, the, the problem is how... I think this one... It's in a weird shape. It's a little, yeah. But it... it keeps everything and now you get to ooh this is good now so now what you can do is you can play at L6 and sort of push them into making into surrounding not a lot of points and you're going to be surrounding a lot more on the other side which is oh, actually yeah, really yeah. good it's really great um do we push one more you think or a sort of knight's move here now 
I'd actually play the P9 attach and start attacking from the other side. Hmm, you gotta try to split the groups again. You know, or just get into what they're trying to surround, you know, and make shape for our group at the same time. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they're letting us split, play Q10, and then cut. That seems oh, nice. Q10 first. That's okay, either one is fine. But don't do this now. Now we're going to want to play Q8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to Q8, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> uh, there is, like, in Amsterdam we had a, like, a Fordan, I believe? He was, he was like he, he, at, at one point he was the champion of the Netherlands but it was a long time ago and um, uh, but he always said like when you you have a knight's move like that the, the only move is so like if you have the, the P10 to 08 then and you and you already mm. got the P9 then the only move is 8, uh, uh, 09 yeah yeah that makes I mean, sense in, in, in some cases it isn't but <laughs> Okay, we got an invasion. Okay, they want to die, it looks like. I guess that's what they want to do today. Do you know how many stones it takes them to, on the second line to uh, make a living group? So I, I go over, right? So they cannot get out. Yeah. I mean, this, this looks... Also sort of defending, like, if, if things fail, then at least I got... Even if they make a super small group there, I'm pretty sure we still have more points, so. Yeah, because they don't really have that many. They're doing that thing where they try to attach to everything or, like, just play everywhere and hope that something lives. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you maintain a really strong shape and don't let yourself get, like, weirdly cut, um, even if they live really small, you'll be fine. So I would just try to like make really solid shapes and just contain everything and get the points where you can. And just like your focus is to make that group of stones like as small as possible. And if they still don't connect, cut the cut them and uh, mm -hmm. make it one thing. So you can actually play at H eighteen now. So you wait eighteen oh here. Yeah, because no matter what they do. Um. Yeah. So you still have the Mi, even though with that extension, if they play J18, you play G18, and then vice versa, right? Um, what you could do. I, I, I was thinking of a K15 or something of that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Just, just keep, keep them small. The name, but, but also, like, walling off some things. Exactly. Now you can Hane. I mean, all your stuff is connected to all your other stuff, so if you get cut, it's not a big deal. Yes, yeah. Um, still, still looks kind of dead to me. Like I would descend F at F18. Yeah. Make, make them commit to capturing that stone, and then you can defend all your cutting points. And then you probably almost killed it and if not like you still got a lot of points to do okay great so just like they've just made sure that they're going to capture that stone yeah so this one so they don't have more room mm -hmm. keeping the room limited Now you need to prioritize not getting cut right now over them potentially living. So like, okay. even moves like L14 would be really good. Now here's the here's the where we need to read right. If you play K19, they only yeah, have one it's... eye. Yeah. But they will get to cut you, and be free. At like the F15 cut, right? Yeah. Um, so, or not the F-15 if, cut, if they, the, the K-14 cut. K-14. Oh boy. Oh, that one. Mm-hmm. I would defend my cuts, honestly. I don't think we need to worry. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, Stay that's, solid. Yeah. 
because then it gets out. So I was worried. I did not even see this gut. So this. Mm -hmm. um, like cool. Like they're alive, but they made no points. And now it's yeah. our Sente. And we get to uh, do end game, play at B17, defend our points. Um, we can play at R18. Um, I think this one first because that uh, solidifies this group. Yeah. And then we can play uh, R18. Yeah. Now I was eyeing also the like R2 even. I do S2 because that know. way we can leave that and it's not as much of a sente if they respond. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, well, not, not later on, I still have the. Yeah. Yeah. And now we can do like S10 and just make that exchange, like finish up the end game. Yeah. So now we got all the nice. We got all the really good end game now, yeah. um, which is great. And we could finish off by playing like J9 or J8 and just keep black from invading too far into our white Moyo. Yeah, I was I was looking at this move earlier, so let's play that one. Yeah. So now awesome. black can't really make any points, right? So it's really oh, just about defending our cutting points and letting the game go. So yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. L nineteen is good end game for them. So that's oh that's a good move too. Oh. Like if they push, oh, we yeah, can't okay, like. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. And the, the nice thing about this level is that they might even respond. <laughs> That'd be fun. We're also setting up for that move that you just played sets up great for a Q10 cut as well. A Q10. I keep looking up these like Q10. Oh yeah. Although we might not want Black to get in our Moyo, so we might want to play at H9 first. Just yeah. like make super keep, sure keep, that. Keeping them yeah. And, uh, if 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 we have, yeah, this is the kind of thing like oh, play a move that does something and then does two things and then doing the other thing mm. eventually another time yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what this move is doing not much like they're playing in the middle right now they're not going to be making any points with this very much um, like we can just use this to just surround more stuff in the center yeah like we made yeah, more points than they did other hand, it's, it's really nice now yeah I think we got enough support to that cut Yes, yes. Now the cut is actually looking really good. Also, we have even more end game at like S11 because like that's just free. Like we can take that. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, do whatever you want. You can do the S11. You can cut at the Q10. It's the world is your oyster. You're good. <laughs> uh -huh. Let me do a quick yeah, count. It, it, it helps that they're like. 16 cube. Yeah. Just for anyone watching, well, this is a free game. We're not ranking people down. <laughs> we're doing we're doing nice by the numbers free games for education. And that is our Yeah. Is it's our... it's responsible go. Yeah, it's responsible go. Oh well, it would be responsible go if they respond. Oh, they did respond. It's your move at oh, T10. Oh, they did respond. I just yeah. have not seen. Oh my god. That would be depressing if you timed out there.
They might try to fight and kill something within your giant space. Yeah, yeah. There it is. There right it is. Now. Yeah. And now we just need to make sure we stay con as long as we can stay connected to everything. Yeah. Everything and is fine. Nothing. Yeah. Everything is fine. So just G nine or that whatever. Yeah. But now if we notice, like, okay, so we have two ways. We have Mii connection for our top group at either J9 or by taking the black stone at E8. So we still have, like, and if they extend at E8, um, uh, yeah, I got to block them off there. Yeah, because otherwise it's... Yeah. Um, they can't live in this space. So really, it's just play E3, defend your cut points. Like, make sure you can't be cut. Um, don't Hane unless you absolutely need to in the future. Because Hane gives more cut points for them. So, like, uh, yes, always yes. want to try to be solid. Like, extensions, walls. Like, the less, <laughs> the less cut points you can make for them, the better. Because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they feed on the, on the cut points. Yeah. If, um, yeah, see, now there's a whole bunch of messes happening. But I think you're fine if you yeah, just play E3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was going to play D1. That will work too. But yeah, I like okay. E3 because it's like a little more solid. And if they yeah. if they descend to yeah. D1, they still nothing works. Still, they can't. That's not too high. So um, here you can play at H1 and just like poke out everything because they can make another eye up top. So like you're good. This um, is nothing. That's nothing. Right. I would actually. That's good too. Yeah. At some point, playing like J9 and just like making sure that everything is connected to everything would be like a good thing to do, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just block them off. Yeah, first, first hey, connected here, but yeah, just, yeah. just let them know like, yeah, we're, we're fine. Yeah. They might Atari you at J3, just fill in. That's nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah, this looks good. Yeah, the only oh, thing I'm worried yeah, about is that top group. The top group. But it's fine. Like, I can read out that it's fine, but, like, someone with, like, a lower skill level might mess up if they try to extend out at E8 right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's go over that soon. Um, no, I don't see the threat of this. This is doing nothing. Yeah. Um, Just extend up, play G5. Oh, I was thinking about, like, not spawning at all, right? I would always do it. I mean, if you know you're in the lead already, mm -hmm. every stone they throw in, you're going to get back. So it's not changing your score totals. No, and, like, true. if that's you know true. you're comfortably in the lead, in my mind, it's just, like, why risk it? <laughs> Make no, the no, least, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, if it's a one-point game, then yes, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they still have one eye that none of that matters. Um, hmm. Could descend at E1 or that. Yeah, that works out. You win by 65 and a half points. Yeah, I thought so. All right. Yes, I see. I see mo moving stones. Yes. Cool, cool. Okay, so here, I was thinking maybe even do something like this. 
Mm. Because it just, it helps you expand and try to take away what Black's doing at the same time. You yeah, play because here. Black is clearly going for this influence, so I right. should try to balance it more. Yeah. Right, because if, if Black can get some sort of like shape and expand this way, like you can see how that could turn into a problem yeah. pretty quickly. Which you would be weird, like, oh, can this one space do it? Like, honestly, it kind of can. Like, they're forced to go something like this. Mm -hmm. And it's much less severe because now you're building as well as while well, taking away what Black is making. It leaves a weakness here. Yeah. But if Black runs, you get the chance to mess up Black's Moyo anyway. And so when you're doing this fight, they're not making points in the middle like they wanted to with their opening. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, because they prevent you from like getting all the points, but it's fine because they don't get any points in, in the process. Exactly. And like your strategy was never to really develop the middle anyway. And no, you yeah. have like other safety moves, you know, you can play here just for more territory and stuff like that. So. Okay. Trying to like, yeah. De yeah, develop and being mindful of like the press downs that, because like when someone plays an influential strategy, their win condition is pressing you down. So the more low stones you have, the more they're going to get a chance to do that. So finding subtle ways to not do that is good. Um, let's see. I like this move too. Um, they're still playing high stones, but now we're, we're really just kind of focused on a very territorial game, which I think is good. Um, I was wondering about this instead. <laughs> mm. As like slightly stronger shape, it leaves this weakness here. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering how, well, they can't actually do that because then okay. things are like insane. Things get really complicated. So things get very complicated if you do that. Um, yeah, but it looks better indeed. It looks, at least it looks more like. Frozen it looks players. stronger for the center. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like you could always just be like, okay, sure, like, make a wall. Like it's fine. They get a few extra points here, but like you get a chance to make more of a wall here, which is fine. So that might be a better shape in the future. Um, yeah. This yeah, split was nice. Yeah. Yeah. So now if it was I'm black... Sorry. Indeed, indeed, because I, I would have just approached right away and you suggested, like, splitting it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good idea. They could do this. In which case, you're going to probably want to try to make shape for your group. Um, this would have been the stronger way to handle this, this situation. Um, yeah. And then you would, you would probably want to like do do something up here like this just like to make sure your group is safe you know yeah yeah um that's the strongest way to handle this kind of thing but they passively backed off which is great cuz that lets you do this and a lot of times when stronger players play weaker ones they're like oh i just feel like i just like ended up losing and there was no big dramatic thing and it's like it's moves like this that make the winning happen but because Black didn't kick White, White now had the chance to incente just settle the group, and there's no way Black can build off attacking it now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because at one point here you said. Now what about like, this? Uh, move? Oh, we're getting cornerback, and then you said, "Oh no, we don't." Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I was thinking here. I was thinking about this variation where black can split white's groups. Yeah, yeah. And then like make things kind of messy, actually, because now... Now black doesn't, or white doesn't really have a way to... This group is like in a lot of danger. Yeah. yeah. And then black can live. And so Black's group's not really in any danger, but White's group is now. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because of the the bad shape I made earlier because I dropped down, right? I think that was part of it. I think that I think part of it was this. This is why I wanted to do this. Um, yeah, I was confused with honeys and stuff, but um, I, I think I'll, I played on the bottom because that was the honey I, I saw first, and then you said, oh, you can honey, and so I hunted there. But, right. Uh, but I should have looked at the other one because that keeps my stones more connected indeed. Right. That's what I was thinking. Way. Yeah. 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 I mean, um, it's a big corner, though. It is, but you're getting so much on the outside. Like, we won by 65 points. This is, that, that's you know? good, that's good. <laughs> So many points. And we could totally afford to give away a slightly bigger corner to get more thickness. But this worked out, too. Um, yeah, this is a good variation for us. Yeah. 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 Could have been worse. Yeah. This was, I was thinking, I was worried about this one. Um, ah, yes. But it looks okay. It's a bloody, it's a messy fight, actually. Yeah, you gotta come up with the right moves to. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, defending our scrape was at least at least uh, the more. But I didn't play the shape move here because uh, this was the point where we entered your Yomi. Yeah. Like, oh, no, I gotta play fast, and I yeah. couldn't figure out like what is the the, the shape. Of right. One. I don't think that one. That doesn't look good. I like the one you did, honestly. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I don't. I it still is... maintain we don't need to be worried here. Like I still think no, we're okay. Sure. Okay. But for a low low, like if they defend this stone, then it's very easily dead, because we have this attachment right here. Mm -hmm. Atari, Atari, ladder. And that's a ladder. Yeah. So that's super easy if they defend. If they don't, and they do something weird and different, one thing we could do, um, force them to respond. And then make an eye. So that'll give us more liberties and stuff to work with. If they defend here, then we're connected. Yeah. So I think it works out. Like, I think it works out. But it's just a rough thing to try to read. <laughs> uh, in your diagonal, is there? you came up with the, the diagonal. I, I'm, I'm trying to, like, how do you get to the shape? Uh, uh, but you think of the diagonal because of the cut. Because if they then play there, then it would be Tiger's Mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Then yeah. I see that. Yeah. Okay. So one great move for black is like right here. The shoulder hit on the yeah. two space, like extending out here is really strong because black can just like really lightly jump away. And it's just hard. It pushes us down. Yeah. yeah. While also getting something in the middle. Um, but see, they're focusing on stuff that we can just take away like that. And now we're doing two things at once. We're reducing their potential here and making more potential on the top, which is everything yeah. you want to do. Um, and from there, it was pretty much just don't die, which we didn't. We stayed strong, mm -hmm. kept our shape. See, and this is how, like, even though it lived, it didn't matter. We were up by, like, 65 points. And, like, that's okay. Um, because yeah, if we would have tried to... Cut, yeah. uh, really... I, I need to work on my cuts uh, because I did not see this as a problem. But you're totally right that this is a problem. Yeah, because if we do this, like, this is crazy. Um, if yeah. white defends here, we have an Atari into down, which is death. So mm -hmm. white has to defend here. Um, black and extend which doesn't do anything. But we can Atari here, Atari up, which I guess yeah. doesn't, if we Atari up, I guess that's okay. 
And I guess it works out. Terrain. I guess this time it works out. I just, I get very wary of these things. And in situations... Okay, at least, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. And if it doesn't matter, then then just defending the cut right away is... Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because if you, if, you, if you don't, then it becomes a, like, uh, now it's just, oh, it lives small and it's fine. But then it becomes like, oh, if this doesn't, does not die, then it's the game. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and that's... And that's why it's always good to have a sense of your head or behind. That'll let you make those decisions much more quickly. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. And uh, from there, it's just end game, just end game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, do you have any more questions? It was a really good game. No, no. Thank you for the for the suggestions uh, and uh, and the review. Yeah. yeah. Cool. No worries. Well, this was fun. Uh, if anyone else would like to join in the group, I'm trying to build a Discord group. Uh, you can join my Patreon. Link is down in the bottom below. Um, and you can hang out with me, play some games, get some reviews, and it'll be really awesome. So I hope you, I hope to see you there. Uh, Seb, thank you so much for playing. And uh, I'll see you back at Discord. Have fun. Yes.